Alright, what is up YouTube? MK40, sorry, Sally almost sneezed. Alright, so we are doing a nice little preview deck profile of some crazy spice. 04 drop. Uh, 04 drop right away. So this is Lunalite Orcust. And uh, Austin's been messing around with this for pretty much the whole day, and uh, this is what we've come up with to kind of mess around with. So guys, check out our friends at TradingCardNet.com down below. Enter mco 40 on checkout, save a little bit of money on your purchase. Also, use my TCG Player affiliate link if you guys are looking to order off a TCG Player. Uh, your purchase helps contribute to the channel, and uh, yeah, it's, it's a big help. Yes, Claw, I see you there. Alright, so... This is Lunalite Orcust? Yeah. Okay, so we have triple copies of Kaleido Chick, the absolute best searcher in your deck. Did you know that I could send a card from the extra deck instead of the main deck? Mm -hmm. So cool. Yeah, but how often does that come up? Never, because I don't play any Luna Lights in my extra deck. Well, it's important if you're like actually playing like what Luna Lights are intended for, their actual fusions. <laughs> OTK? <laughs> uh, Tiger's not once per turn? Uh, yeah, <laughs> dump. That's all you do with that card. All right, so we play triple copies of this extremely stupid card. Not once per turn. Yeah, not once per turn. Free bounce fodder, free special summon, free Xyz material. Oh, if they ogre it, I still get to summon. Because <laughs> it gets destroyed. It is summons back to Luna Light. <laughs> Why did this card not go to one yet? Sorry, Luna Light players. I, I'm not hating on you guys. I know you guys are a rare breed. So but, please, ogre me. But, but just imagine, when Red Eye's Insight goes to one, then you can feel bad for the Red Eye's <laughs> players. All right, then we have two copies of Yellow Marty. Brick! Uh, it, it just it comes That's back from the graveyard, right? That's all it ever does. Uh, she targets a card, and then if it resolves, bounces a card. She summons herself. Same as Zephyrus. Woohoo, we did it. Uh, then she banishes herself if she leaves the field, but that's why you use her for exceed material. Mm, not mm -hmm. technically on the field clause. My favorite. Damn saying again. And then we have one copy of this. Then back to playing it. Uh, I mean, you discard the Serene Dance, and that's it. To draw yeah, one. Or one of them. Discard the Martin Search Trap. Yeah, that too. Draw one yeah. sounds pretty good. Yep. Because she is not cost. Oh, that's pretty good. That yeah, that's why she's good. But we just went back to playing one of it. So yeah, standard standard Luna Light package, right? Yeah. Literally I three, am rank three. four, or I'm exceed rank four spam. Three three two one. Yep. Okay. All right, and then we get into the danger side mm, of this danger. deck. Uh, two copies of Mothman. Uh, now being able to trigger discard something else from your hand is getting a lot better. Oh yeah. Until Plus you draw one discard if he gets sniped, so that's always good. Well, yeah. Like, <laughs> that's the thing we care about. It's the, the actual discard. If not, you get a... Also, he's level 4. Yeah, he's level 4, so you get to spam some more stuff. Kind of. Uh, that's, yeah, it's fun. Two, chat, two copies of my little Jackie Rabbit. Broken. He makes curious, yeah. And then we have two copies of the Suchinoko. Look, I got one. I bought So adorable. Yeah. Then we have one copy of Ness Ness. Thanks, Ellie, for your contribution. And then we have mm -hmm. one copy of Bigfoot. I chose Bigfoot. You can choose Thunderbird, or you can play uh, the, the Chupacabra, or you can play... I think the Bigfoot's better. Bigfoot's just... Oh, well, I mean, in the, like, Mirish match, it's not, because Dean Greaser just protects, but... I mean, it's it protects K, against everything. It's a 3K body, too. Yeah. Like. It is a 3K body. I like 3K bodies. So, like... I don't know. It's up to you on what that last danger, but you have to play the last danger. Like, you can play a third Mothman if you want to, but... That's fair. All right. Yeah, please. All right, so yeah, that's your just... that's your danger package. It's pretty dangerous I'm out very, here. I'm very dangerous. Very dangerous. Ooh, ooh, ooh. One copy of <laughs> boots. Boots. <laughs> spicy mm. boots. <laughs> All right. So this spicy little creature searches for the reason why this deck is good. <laughs> uh, this stupid <laughs> car. Uh, yeah. Rusty I mean, being gone. The only <laughs> we would never have this problem. Oh, wait. They brought it back. So this stupid card uh, is going to get rebanned. Uh, I can't wait. Um, so yeah, this is uh, the whole appeal of this deck. But but you really don't do this very often because you either have to mill this, draw it so you can discard it, or hard draw this. Curious. Like, it's just there. Curious well, no, Curious has to send the Orcus back. Oh, somehow. Unless you somehow get the Orcus down. 
So it's kind of like in the air. Curious is just there, but most of the time Curious will be discarding your orcs. Well. Okay. Because you only okay. play a little one. All right, so we have one Dark Graffer boy. That's a good card. Yeah. Literally sending boots, sending literally anything that you yeah, want. Yeah, that's how you get there. You send that. You send like boots and nightmare, boots and boots nightmare, and boots and boots. And boots. One, Look, Starfoil. <laughs> one copy of Extender Boy. Because literally free search is free. And then our Orcus package. Ah. One Zawald Wando, one copy of Orchestral Nightmare, and one Skeleton Boy. That's all you need. Yeah, literally. For this day. Plus the Crescendo. <laughs> yeah. All right. Spells. Yay. Triple copies of this hilarious card. That is not a Luna Light card, just FYI, guys. That is a Luna Slash Light card, or Luna Space Light card. Yeah, so anyway, that doesn't matter. Does uh, matter. Can't discard it. Okay, calm down, gingerbread <laughs> man. You mean you can't search it? And you can't search it either. Yeah, you can't search it, but it's fine, because it's always getting ditched anyway. I like Monster Reborns for free. Triple copies of dropping that Monster Reborn. <laughs> we had to go three. We had to go back to three of this, not two. We have triple copies of Tanky. This plus Tiger. Ooh, very nice. One copy of Foolish Barrel. More help. And then we have the Spice. <laughs> One copy of card destruction. I don't like hand traps, so if I draw that and have a handful of dangers, I'm going uh, to town. That's the best case scenario. I'm going to town. I also see that you're really bad and you're playing one copy of Pot you of You play one average. You play enough monsters. Uh, putting dangers back is not a bad thing, because then if you draw them, you just activate them. <laughs> All right. not, it's not a bad card. Let me play one copy of Babel for interruptions on the opponent's turn. Oh, not bad. One Crescendo for our Orcus package. Oh, yeah. One Shade Brigadine, another level 4 extender for the deck. Yes. And then we have one copy of the Serenade Dance. Rounding out your trap lineup. Mm-hmm. Mm. spicy. Some spicy. All right. Extra deck here. One. Yeah, you don't play one. One Galatea. One Galatea. All right. You're either going to sit on her because you have a crescendo, or are you going to rank her up into a Dingrisu and send her to the grave? One copy of Appaloosa, which is basically where we're going for most of our combo. Yeah, you make this consistently, uh, I think, out of, what, three test hands? I consistently made Appaloosa, like, yeah. But if you're afraid, like, this is good going sec or game two and three, since you know they're probably going to side in the Nibiru, you just on your fist summon make this so they can't Nibiru you. Mm. And then you're, as long as you have enough extender, you still keep going to town. One copy of Curious Boy. Yeah. Either dropping one of your many packages. <laughs> uh, one copy of Barricade Borg Blocker, another discard outlet for yep. the deck. Generic. Uh, another discard outlet for your deck, plus Generic. beating up back row. One copy of the Old Long Grisu. Mm -hmm. uh, one copy of the Unicorn Friend. Typical package. Uh, well, it's because of this. Yeah. Look, like, Queen. Uh, I love my Queen. One copy of Drago Calibaric Sparta. Yeah. Um, OTK, because you can. All right. So, <laughs> rank fours. So we play the one copy of the Time Thief Redoer. Uh, Austin might test out Nyarla. Maybe. Because the argument with this versus the Nyarla is you can have the Nyarla also become a dark. Yes. No, and you can also keep another monster on the field to make Link Climbing easier, as opposed to this guy just dipping out. I um, mean, I guess it depends on your matchup, too, though, because this, like, depending on what you place under... Yeah. Like, I mean, if you're going against a trap heavy deck, this card's really good because you can get the trap and you can... I see the it. argument yeah. for both. And it's like, but I just don't have the room to play both because I don't... There's nothing I could really cut. That tornado, like, the T-Dragon, that one is really good. Like, you can't cut T-Dragon. Yeah, this you need this card for back row. Yeah, and since pendulums are, you know, a thing, you need as much, like, back row hate as you can get. One copy of the Abyss Dweller. Mm, I love making my opponent play the game. One copy of Search for Zephyros the Elite. Why does this card exist? He should never have been generic. That's why. One copy of Dingritsu, and when we rank it up into <laughs> this guy. You have to play this one because the other one's nine, this one's eight. Or, yep. This one's nine. And it's pretty good. Alright, so the side deck here. We have triple copies of the Rocky Boy. It seems to be what we're playing in every deck here. Yeah, I mean, if you go up against Mirror Workers, same thing. Uh, triple copies of this spicy <laughs> card, this <laughs> format. Uh, denying your opponent the chance to uh, do anything. Uh, Spiral. Spiral is uh, really good. Triple copies of turning off your opponent's board. Triple copies of Twin Twister for back removal. and Bye, 
triple cop piece of evenly matched. I hear you. So, it's pretty spicy stuff here. So, uh, any final thoughts on this? Well, let's go 0 4 drop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, check out our friends at tradingcardmint.com. Down below, enter MK40 on checkout, save a little bit of money on your purchase. And also use my TCG Player link if you're looking to pick up cards off TCG Player. All right, guys, we're out. Peace. Turtles. The ride never truly ends. Thank you, patrons, for helping support the channel. Without you guys, I don't know if I'd still be doing this. And for those of you that like Cardfight Vanguard, Banco40 is here for all your content needs. And those of you asking if I sell cards, mcoolgames.com for all your trading card game needs. Check the description for more interesting info. Thanks for watching, guys.